Happy day to you all. My name is Tim Sutinen from privacyproshop.com. And on this video, I'll be showing some of my favorite open source apps on my degoogled phone. Most of these apps are every bit as good as their commercial counterparts. So you won't be missing much when you're using a degoogled privacy phone. I'll go over these in an alphabetical order. The apps that come pre-installed with Graphene OS are black and white, so it's pretty easy to see the apps that I'll be talking about. Just look for the colorful icons. I'll have links and further information in the description below. If you have apps that I should have covered, please put them in the comments. Aegis Two-Factor Authenticator. I've used several authenticator programs over the years, and this is the nicest of them all, including commercial two-factor authentication programs. It has password protection, encrypted vault, automatic and manual backups, and it also imports from the various authenticators, including Google and Microsoft authenticators. I highly recommend it. This video is brought to you by privacyproshop.com, where you can find anonymous LokiNet VPN, LokiNet domain names, and session ONS names that you can link your session ID with. If you pay with cryptos, you can pay anonymously. We also accept credit cards. Anime Pipe. It's a YouTube and SoundCloud front end with a strange name. Anime Pipe is an improved version of a YouTube front end named New Pipe. Anime Pipe also includes other lesser known streaming services in the list to choose from. And some of them stream Japanese computer animation known as anime, hence the name. One nice feature of Anime Pipe and New Pipe is that you can turn off the screen and the streaming will continue. Converter Now. This app converts just about anything from one unit to another, like distance, area, volume, fuel consumption, shoe sizes, digital data, and even currencies. It's amazingly comprehensive. ETAR Calendar. ETAR is a calendar that can talk to your CalDAV calendar backend in, the cloud, in a cloud service and can, and can also create and use a local calendar. It works well for my limited calendar needs. Fair Email. It's an email program with an incredible number of configuration options. It looks modern like the best of the commercial apps out there and works flawlessly. If you need access to Microsoft Office 365 emails using their native protocols, you'll need to download the version from the Google Play Store. Or, of course, you can download anything from Google Play Store by using the Aurora Store. I don't use Office 365 for email, so I'm perfectly fine using the Ifdroid version. IMAP Notes 3. It's a note-taking app that stores the notes in an IMAP mail server. It handles notes the same way Apple Notes does, so it interoperates with Mac OS and iOS devices notes app. So if you have notes in those, you can share them with your Graphene OS privacy phone. You can also see the notes in an IMAP mail client in the notes folder. Word of caution. FDroid has both IMAP Notes 2 and IMAP Notes 3. Please make sure to install the ver IMAP Notes 3 as it is the one that gets updated regularly. KeePass DX. It's my favorite password manager. KeePass DX integrates with most Android apps and with web browsers effortlessly. I make manual backup copies of the database weekly. I use KeePass XC on my desktop and laptop computers. So recognize the difference. KeePass DX on the Android phone and KeePass XC on my desktop and laptop computers. KeePass requires you to keep copies of the database yourself rather than using a cloud service for synchronization. To me, my password database is the most important app, so I prefer to keep it under my own control. KMeet. KMeet is a video conferencing app without accounts or signups. 
open source KMeet apps for Android, iOS, Windows, Mac, and Linux are available, and you can also use it with the browser. KMeet works really great, and it's based on the open source Jitsi Meet software. The service is hosted by a Swiss company called Infomaniac. I have used it in place of Zoom, and it has worked very well. As a matter of fact, several times we have had to switch from Zoom to KMeet because the Zoom app wouldn't work right on the client's computer. Mall Privacy Browser Mall is a privacy-conscious Firefox variant. It removes chunks of proprietary Firefox code and adds many privacy-enhancing features from the Tor browser, such as protection against cross-site tracking and fingerprinting resistance. Open Camera Open Camera has an incredible number of configuration options and doesn't record your location or compass bearings in the XIF information. Also, it's light years ahead of the built-in Graphene OS camera. That said, the proprietary Google camera app is much faster and better in most aspects. However, unless you install the Google framework, the Google camera app won't work. And I certainly don't recommend installing any Google software on a de-Googled phone. PDF Viewer Plus. PDF Viewer Plus is one of the first apps I install on any new Graphene OS phone. It handles large PDF files like construction blueprints with ease, unlike the built-in PDF app, which pretty much chokes. Radar Weather. Radar Weather seems to be the best weather app on F-Droid, mostly because it has a way of setting your location accurately. The app looks like it was made in 2009 or so, but as long as it works well, who cares, right? Radar Weather uses openweathermap.org API keys that require a subscription. I have a video on how to get the subscription going. I have a link for the video in the description below. Messaging apps. I use three messaging apps, Session, Signal, and Telegram. I'll have a more comprehensive review of the three messaging apps I use in a future video, but here is a quick recap of them. Session. Session is secure and anonymous messenger. Session is the most private of all the messaging apps. Session doesn't ask you to disclose any information about yourself. You just create an ID and you are good to go. All communication is onion routed so there is no way to trace you, back, trace you to your IP address. Session is fully end-to-end -end encrypted, so there is no way for anyone else to see your messages. Also, Session is decentralized, so there isn't a central point of failure, and it can't be shut down by hackers or governments. Session works great for text messaging, but voice and video calls are still a work in progress. Signal. Signal is a secure messaging app that is easy for non-techies to sign up for and to use. I use Signal for encrypted voice and video calls and messaging with friends and family who are not on session. Signal is a very polished app and it works extremely well. While Signal is secure and encrypted, it isn't anonymous as it requires a phone number to sign up. It is also highly centralized and has some proprietary code in the anti-spam system, whatever that means. And Signal is highly dependent on the money of one person, Brian Acton. If you're interested in learning more about Signal's finances, I made a video about it called Signal Messenger, Product of Benevolent Dictatorship. The link to it is in the description below. I install Signal from their website by downloading the APK file as it is not listed in F-Droid, likely because some of the signal code is not open source. Telegram. What can I say? Telegram is the favorite messenger for privacy people to bash. And for a good reason. It's got all sorts of problems and you probably shouldn't use Telegram for pretty much any messaging that you want to stay private. 
But where Telegram really shines are the channels and groups. You can get non-stop feeds of news and information and follow large group discussions. Also, Telegram bots can monitor all sorts of things for you, like the aux and service node uptime and such. What are your favorite open source apps? Did I miss some important ones I should have covered? Are there better ones? Let's continue the discussion in the comments below. That's all she wrote for now. Have a happy day. This video is brought to you by privacyproshop.com where you can find anonymous LokiNet VPN, LokiNet domain names, and session ONS names that you can link your session ID with.